Hi YouTubers, welcome back. Today I'm gonna introduce a brand new AI generator called Shaker AI. Let's take a look. Introducing Shaker AI. Shaker AI is a sensational platform for us to generate images totally online. First, we're landing this beautiful website by type shaker.ai. Make sure you enter the correct website. Then we can find there are four buttons on the top, which is AI generator, web UI, comfy UI, and train Laura model. And beneath the four buttons, there are tons of the models. Right now, Flux is the best AI model. We have tons of the Flux models that you can use immediately. Let's take a look. Check the quality of the models. But today I'm gonna introduce the models of the Flux. We can click the tab of Flux contest here and we are landing this Flux contest page. So all the models are used for uh, Flux and they are very unique and the qualities are very high. And check the quality, check the styles. Uh, they are very nice because they are training with the better model Flux. We are going to use the help of the Shaker AI to help us to generate images and virtual elements to help us build up this beautiful scooter app. Trust me, I think it's gonna change the whole game of UX and UI design. With AI, we can do so much more. Initially, I already built up some pages about this app. We have a presentation pages. And also we have some skeletons of the UX because we don't have any virtual elements so it looks very boring. So the hero images will attract users and attracts my stakeholders. So let's create hero images by Shaker AI. We have all the fantastic models that can support our Flux model and we can create amazing images. For example, let's create a realistic images by using a model if you have local stable diffusion or Conf UI, you can also download the model from here, very convenient. And you can click the RAM model from here and this is super easy to use. I'm gonna use a web UI for the demonstration. Let's click here. So here is the web UI. So first we need to click the checkpoints and when you see the red computer, that means that's it. And click here and add to favorite and back to our web UI and we can select the flags one. And here we can use a text to image or image to image. And for now, I'm gonna use text to image and let's tap our prompt here. Okay, and let's change the aspect ratio here and let's click the model here. So here we are going to use the models that we already marked as favorites. So I'm adding this as our model and click generate. Okay, we have our result here. I think the quality is good and we can use directly, copy the link, or we can send it to image to image from here and we can ask for better uh, resolutions here. But right now, I think the size is good. Okay, let's play something fun. I have this uh, model that's really interesting. I'm gonna introduce to you, that is the garbage bag art. I think this model is quite cool. But instead of putting this in the web UI or conf UI, this time I'm gonna try use the model directly. Let's click here. This is nothing like the stable diffusion or conf UI. It's a totally new thing. It's just basically a canvas and where you can apply all the kind of the models. And all the models have this button like this one. And if we click this one, we have a big button run model. If we click that and we can use it directly in our canvas. So first thing you need to do is select the correct base model. I select the flux, of course. And then make sure the enhanced model is your favorite. And let's change the aspect ratio here. So this time I'm gonna use this one, three to four. Let's select one of the image number. So for example, I'm choosing three and the parameters I keep this as default. So now let's type our prompt from here. Okay, let's click the generate. Wow, we have our first three images. This is pretty cool. I like this one. What do you think? So um, we can directly copy or we can download from here or share from this button and we can directly use in some of our scenarios. 
So let's let's download first, and uh, let's go back to our design. Okay, we have our images here, and we can put it somewhere like this one, and uh, change the position a little bit. Wow, <laughs> isn't that super cute, right? Uh, sometimes we want to remove the background. So is this app can help us to remove the background? Of course. In Shaker AI, we have a lot of features above. So like in pen, in pen means even somewhere you need to adjust, you can use it. And upscale meaning if you have a small image, you want to make it bigger and you can use upscale the feature. And you can click the remove the background and you can click the download button. And now a very clean dock with our scooter is here. Check the ages, it's perfect. And we can use it somewhere like, uh, like here. And now let's add something fun. So because Halloween is coming, so I'm adding a... Uh... Let's click the generate. And for the Halloween, wow! I like this one. This one's super cute. And let's download from here. And import to our design. Wow, because it's close to the Halloween, so I want this display first, and this goes second. Also, I think we are missing something here, so I need the icon. So let's change the size to one to one, and uh, let's select one of the number, maybe this time still four, and uh, let's type the prompt. Let's click generate. Wow, this is super cute. I think I'm go with this one. And let's try to download it here. And let's try to remove the background. And also download it. And give some wrong edges. So this is the icons of our app. This is also very cute. Let's remove the background. And download. And this one also very fine. And with I think I can download it here. And I think let's give some of the shadow from here. Let's tweak this one to the different direction and avoiding all the characters look at the same directions. Okay. Let's place the icon on the top. Wow, it's so much better, right? And, uh, and back to web UI. Okay, now let's create another images. Let's click the web UI. And uh, we select our model as a flux and type our prompt here. Okay, and uh, let's change the aspect ratio. And let's click the models and select one of the models. I use this one. And let's click the generate. And we just generate this character that we can use as our profile image from here and uh, change this, the light. So persona is a methodology that in the UX design that we create a product and we make the persona to try to figure out the problem that the user are facing. Okay, because our app requires a slogan and I use a flux model to generate this. 
So let's try to remove the background and uh, click down out. Okay, out down. Let's see the result. Amazing, always crying. Users complain. Feedback ignites. Field test drive. Design tweaks ignite. Usability queen. Focus like a hawk. Prototype sing in the Adobe Flock. Post a note scatter. Brainstorm land. Congratulations, you finished this episode. And don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button. Also, leave all your questions inside of our comment zone. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.